March 30th, Road to WrestleMania live event in Manchester, New Hampshire. I'm trying to deliver items to Cody Rhodes. Where do I even begin? March 30th, Manchester, New Hampshire. I went to a Road to WrestleMania WWE live event. Was tweeting out, trying to get something delivered to Cody Rhodes. I'm a I'm a small creator, so it it, it takes a lot of work for a lot of my stuff to reach platforms for it to catch wind and everybody to see it to like it to retweet it and it just didn't really catch wind so in today's video i just want to share a little story with you guys how that event went and keep you guys updated on what happened if anything cool happened i honestly had the time of my life whether i got to deliver something to Cody Rhodes and live out one of my dreams, handing something to one of my idols, or if I just had a great time and I want you guys to come along f for the ride as well. I'm Alex, you guys know me as Ace BABA. -B -A. You guys should know me as Ace BABA -B -A, and you guys should totally subscribe to the channel as I upload twice daily, if not twice, once a day. Anyways, March 30th, I make it to Manchester, New Hampshire. I've got backstage access. I get there around, I want to say it was like 5.30. It was like, man, it's going to be a long night. You know, I, I, I went alone. I had my girlfriend back at the hotel. Anyways, I make it to the box office. I get all of the complimentary stuff that comes with the package. They brought me upstairs after I go through all of the security stuff. They're like, hey, you you give first access to all of the WWE merchandise, whatever, you get to cut the line, so on. I actually ended up getting that bad chicken right there, which is my first title that I've ever bought. Suckers are expensive, dude. Like, come on, why are they so expensive? We make it out back after about 45 minutes or so. Uh, waiting for everybody to get together. We're all in line and so on uh, But we make it out back and as we're sitting there and we're waiting for the host to come in the room I'm watching people like Jim Uso walk by. I'm watching Solo Sokoa walk by LA Knight's walking by and I'm sitting there and I'm like dude, this is this is fucking sick, right? And eventually the host gets there, right? And he's getting everybody all hyped up for the event and he's like, I'm going to go back and see what superstars are willing to do the meet and greets today and so on. And I got to meet some really cool superstars. The meet and greet started out with Pretty Deadly, which I love Pretty Deadly. I love what they've been doing on the main roster. The host leaves again to go get another superstar. And he's gone for about 15, 20 minutes or so. Uh... And he comes back and he's like, hey, whatever, we've got another superstar, and LA Knight walks in, which was amazing. And if you guys want a pro tip, if you ever purchase the Superstar Experience, and you want to be one of the first people in that room to meet LA Knight, if he is one of the superstars that you are seeing for a meet and greet, bring your LA Knight merch. Wear your LA Night March. That man went out of his way to look around that entire room to find his merch, and those people went first. I was not wearing LA Night March. I had that big clunky ass title with me. I had a white flannel on. I'm sitting there, and I'm like, dude, I really hope that n nothing against any other superstar that I could have met because it's all such an amazing experience. Experience, uh, but I'm sitting there and I'm like, dude, this would be such an easy way to get this to Cody Rhodes to get a couple things signed so that I can give it back to you guys as well because that's another one of my goals is to when I go to things like this, get things signed and I want to give it away to my subscribers because I appreciate every single one of you so much. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have the drive to continue doing this. And in comes Natalia. And at this point, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not fucking complaining, dude. That's a fucking heart. She's a member of the heart family. I, I grew up in a household that if you hated the hearts, you weren't family, brother. 
So it finally settled in. I was like, okay, meeting Cody right now isn't really something that's going to happen. I'm going to have to hold on to all the stuff. I have a bag with the poster in it. I have, you know, the action figure that you guys are going to see throughout this video uh, in a bag. But as I'm getting my pictures taken with Natalia, and I'm not one to listen into people's conversations. I hate people listening into my conversations. It's like, wait your turn kind of deal. You know what I mean? But I hear the host and he's like, hey, I'm going to go and see Cody Rhodes later. Like, blah, blah, blah. And that's where I kind of cut myself self off. I was like, none of my, none of my freaking business. You know what I mean? All I know is I heard Cody Rhodes name and I was like, if I don't do this now, I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, so I, I, I had to take my chance. You know what I mean? So I'm patiently waiting for, you know, everybody to get through, take their pictures with Natalia, sign everything. Keep in mind, Natalia is still in the room at this point, And I feel like a complete shithead for it at the end of the day because Natalia's in the room. And I'm trying to ask the host about another superstar, which isn't my intention to try and make another superstar feel like they're, they aren't enough. Because I sat there and I told Natalia how much of an honor it was to be in the same presence as her. So I'm like, man, I, I got I got to do this fast. I've got to do this now. Whatever. I wait for the guy to finish up his conversation. When I'm, in, I'm alone in the room with the guy, there's me, Natalia the host and his friend, right? So I asked the guy the question. I was like, hey, listen, I don't mean to be eavesdropping, but I heard that you might be seeing Cody Rhodes later, and I brought some stuff that I would like to deliver to him. He's like, yeah, I, I can see what I can do. Like, um, I'll take down your phone number. I've got, you know, your email, so on. He had a paperwork of everybody that had the experience. Uh, with all of their information and stuff on it. And he was like, it's got to make it through security. There's no promises that it does make it through security and um, that there was no promises. And at this point, I was like, you know what? I made it for the guy. Um, and if it doesn't make it through security and I don't get it back, it's it's to me, it's not that big of a deal. I go back to the drawing board. I remake the thing and I try again. So that was that. We exchanged phone numbers. The security took me out, brought me to my seat, um, and the show began. Halfway through the match, I hear my phone going off. And I'm like, you know, I put that on. I, th I, th I thought I put it on Do Not Disturb. I check it, and I got a text message. And it, it, it wasn't a number that was saved in my phone, so I was like, okay, well, it's probably some type of scam thing, right? And it was just an attachment, and I opened it up, and it was a picture of frickin' Cody Rhodes with the action figure that I made him. And my heart sunk, dude. I was like, shit. That actually happened. At this point, I'm like, like I said, I'm a couple drinks in. I'm feeling myself. And uh, I'm like absolutely joyful. Like, I, knowing that I was able to get something to one of my idols and it was in their possession, but just seeing one of my idols holding something that I made for them and knowing that they have it uh, in their home somewhere or they carry it around and their luggage with them felt really nice. And you guys can pick on me. I'm a 24 year old dude who's all giddy about getting an action figure that I made to one of my idols. It's, it's cool. Everybody does their own thing. Anyways, the sad part about it is I'm like, damn, I should have given the guy the poster that I made. I could have gotten it signed and given away to you guys. So I was, on my end, I was a bit bummed out that I couldn't do that for you guys. I can mark that off of my checklist for 2024. What I can't mark off of my checklist for 2024 is getting something signed by Cody Rhodes 
and giving it away to one of my subscribers. That kind of sucks. I'm going to have to go to another event. Or am I? Or am I? But at the end, I was thinking to myself, we're about halfway through the match. Uh, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, you know, I did hear that Cody likes to go around uh, after his match at live events. He takes his time. He takes pictures. Um, he signs things. Like, you know, there's a chance that I can do this. I'm second row. I've got to make it up to first row. Believe it or not, it's a harder task than you might think making it up a whole nother row. So I'm sitting there, I'm plotting, I'm like, I don't want to take over any spot over any type of kid. As much as I love my subscribers, there's a five to six year old, there's a seven and eight year old sitting over here. I want them to have that experience more than I had that experience. I would have loved that even more than I do now if it would have happened when I was their age which is I wanted to be greedy and be like yeah I'm gonna go and get this signed I don't care what anybody else thinks I I'm a good person <laughs> so it's like I'm gonna make sure they're getting their stuff signed first so that they can look back at that memory and be like Damn, I had a good childhood. I had this. I got to meet Cody Rhodes. I got this signed. I did this. I did that. Anyway, stop mamma jamming. Cody Rhodes gets the victory over Drew McIntyre, and he starts doing his loops. And I let the kids and everything go up in front of me and so on. He's going around. He's taking his pictures. Of course, security guards are like, all right, everybody needs to leave. The show is over, and everybody's just ignoring the security guards. And you can tell security guards are getting annoyed. Um, they want to get everything cleaned up, they want to go home, but everybody's waiting for Cody to get there, and everybody's waiting for their turn. So Cody Rhodes finally makes it over to what would have been Cam's side at a Monday Night Raw or a PLE. And I, I was like, at this point I was accepting the fact that if it didn't happen, it didn't happen. I had an experience that I'll remember for the rest of my life. I'm going to share it with you guys no matter what. But at the end of the day, I got it done, bitches. I got it done. You know what I mean? I'm going to go out. I'm going to get this framed. Uh, once we reach 3,000 subscribers, I will be giving this away to a lucky subscriber. The giveaway will be done on my YouTube channel. You'll see it promoted on X, which you guys should totally go and follow. I post wrestling news, wrestling content, and so on there. Anyways, you can see his signature right there where it says Dirty Dom. You got my signature down there because I'm a freaking goof. And man, I just had the time of my life. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. I got to finish my story. One thing I can tell you guys, anything is possible when you really put your mindset to it. And I don't mean to get all sappy and inspirational to you guys. But if you guys want to do something, go out and do it. It doesn't matter if you're 30 years old. It doesn't matter if you're 12 years old. It doesn't matter if you're 24 years old. In my case, I went out there. I had a couple of buddies that's like, why are you so giddy about it? You're 24 years old. There's things that you've got to worry about outside of professional wrestling. Why do you even watch that shit anymore? It's fake. It's fucking fake. But pro wrestling is what I love. So I'm going to continue to do what I love. Anyways, go out, live your dream, do what you got to do, save up your money, Go to these events if it's something that you're interested in doing. You're going to have a great experience like I did. But enough of the sappy, inspirational talk. If you guys enjoyed today's video, you enjoyed the story, you want to see me finish my story of 2024, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We are on the road to 3,000 subscribers, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye. Bye.